Hello students, I am Sneha from Badi Dasna Metric I Secondary School, Arakonam. Students, have you ever seen some people picking the garbages? Why are they all picking it? First of all, what the use of picking the garbages? Let's see all these things in this lesson, recycling. Let us move on to the lesson. Recycling, what does mean by recycling? Let me explain. But before, we have to know what is mean by reuse, reduce, recycle. First, what does mean by reuse? Reuse means just reusing the products or items more than once. We call as reuse. Then, reduce. What does mean by reduce? Which means just reducing the amount of waste we create called reduce. Just de decreasing the amount of waste materials we create we call as reduce. Now recycle or recycling. What does mean by recycling? Recycling is a process that recovers the waste materials turning it into new products that process we call as recycling is yes. uh, for example if we throw any waste material that waste material can be reused again by the process of recycling mm. now certain materials cannot be recycled like glass wood food etc etc certain materials cannot be recycled and also it is important to separate the recyclable waste from non-recyclable waste because recyclable waste won't create any threat to the environment which means any danger to the environment so it is important to separate the recyclable waste from non-recyclable waste now, answer for my question, why should we separate recyclable waste from non-recyclable waste? Yes, you are right, because recyclable waste won't create any threat to environment, but non-recyclable waste create a threat or danger to environment. So, it is important to separate the recyclable waste from non-recyclable waste. Now, students, do you think recycling is important for the earth? Yes, recycling is important for the earth because recycling helps to prevent the environment. What does mean by environment? Sutrasural. So, it is important to recycle the things. Now let us see some examples of recycling. Look at here, water bottle. We can make a small tiny pots in plastic water bottles just to show off it. Then ice cream sticks. I hope you kids love ice cream sticks more than ice creams. Yes. So we can make a flower case in those ice sticks by sticking it. Now, pencil boxes. We can make pencil boxes in some of the water cans or kerosene cans just to show, store the pencils in the water cans. Planting the trees. We can plant the trees in plastic bags. So, we can make many useful things in plastic by the process of recycling. Now, let us move on to the topic plastic recycling. So students, plastic plays a vital role in recycling which means important role in recycling because plastic is a recyclable waste. It is a non-biodegradable waste which means it cannot decompose easily. So we, we can recycle the plastic easily then uh, it is important to recycle the plastics because it will buried by the sand or ground 
and it will leached out which means it spread out those chemicals will spread out into the ground that will affect all the rivers streams oceans etc etc so it is important to recycle the plastics now students what would happen if we did not recycle the plastic tell me it will buried by the ground which means it taken by the ground and that chemical or those chemicals will leached out by the ground uh, which means it spread out by the ground so it is important to recycle the plastics that will affect all the oceans rivers etc etc now let us move on to the topic process of recycling so the first process of recycling is collecting what is mean by collecting segarithal we call as collecting so first people will collect all the waste material together to send it to shredding machine uh, from the hotels restaurants etc etc so the first step is they will collect all the plastic materials then the second step is sorting they sort out the products which means they divide the products according to the type color and material so this is the second process of recycling sorting now third process is melting what is meant by melting something making into liquid we call as melting uruga vaithal so they melt all the products all plastic products then they will wash it out and make it to dry so that process we call as melting now the fourth step is flaking what is meant by flaking just they will make all the pieces into thin so this is the fourth step we call as flaking recycle products so after this all steps finally they will bring out the products so it is called this process will call as end products they will bring out plastic boxes or plastic cans they will bring out the plastic lumber which means docks stools chairs etc then they will place it they will bring out then new bottles new water cans they then they will plastic detergent bottles they will bring out and the buckets and containers and fresh frisbees stadium seats so they will bring out all the plastic products into new so students it is important to separate all the recyclable products from non recyclable products now let us see some glossary words here what is meant by threat threat means danger danger we call as threat now posing what does mean by posing which means presenting presenting a problem we call as posing now what does mean by impurities impurities dirt is right dirt we call as impurities then shreds what is meant by shreds pieces pieces of materials we call as threads now product product means items items of factories then what is mean by garments g a r m e n t s garments which means cloth factory
cloth factory we call as garments then what is meant by carpets carpets means thick cloths cloths we call as carpets decompose what is mean by decompose which means destroying the things d e s t r o y i n g destroying the things s yes. now melt what is mean by melt liquid something making into liquid we call as melt so students just remember you have to separate recyclable waste from non recyclable waste because recyclable waste won't create any threat to environment so it is necessary to separate recyclable waste from non recyclable waste students i hope you all understood this lesson recycling just keep revising it and also see the description box we have given all the links below for your study purpose thank you bye bye